Hey everyone, here's something new in my collection. It's as new as it gets. It literally arrived today. This is the Ford F-150 Lightning by DNA. Um, I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, I I don't really count the previous release of this by uh, Barago. Um, it's opening diecast. That's great, but it's off scale. It's 121 scale to be exact, just so it could fit in a standard box. This this is proper 1 to 18 scale. It will look fairly large next to your other just passenger cars, which as it should be. But, you know, again, it's not opening die cast. It is resin, but the detail is very good. Like, for example, look at the tow hitch, and that's where I guess you'd plug in the electronics for, uh, for the brakes if you were towing. Really good three-dimensional badging, great lights, very good wheels and brakes and tires. You actually have the lettering on the tires, which is nice. So this is the second generation Lightning based on the 10th generation F-150. Um, the grills are not quite open open. They're not bad. Interior is good. Um, these had 5.4 liter supercharged V8s. First few years, 99 to like 01, was 360 horsepower. And then later on, 240 horsepower. The details of the area with the little lights for the license plate that's not there. I mean, really, really good detail. You can see the little metal keyhole. The bed is, the bed liner is nicely rendered. And it says, you know, Ford molded in there. Underneath, surprising detail for resin. You've got the molded spare tire the side exit exhaust but the actual mufflers molded in a lot more detail than typical this is vehicle number 205 out of 399 so a pretty small run I don't know I just think this is a really neat piece you could kind of argue it's a bit of a bit of a movie car um, this was used in the first Fast and Furious Paul Walker's character his quote-unquote day job as a cover was driving one of these as a parts vehicle so you can kind of put in a scale uh, white sticker and then I guess I could put it in my movie collection it's a little bit of a fudge but again neat piece there's three different wheels they use on these there's some that have like a flat flat spoke these I think are the, the, the last design used but really very 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 little variation from year to year it's really just the wheels uh, they offered in black and uh, blue um, they made less one, but I think red's the signature color. For packaging, this is again the updated DNA box. Doesn't have the uh, the microfiber or like suede satchel. I prefer this. It's much smaller. It's consistent with all my other packages. Retail on this again about $180 or so. Um, they had a 30% off sale this weekend that you've probably missed by now. Made it $145 landed, which at that price, I'm not mad at it. A little pricey for resin, but I don't know, far superior to the Barago stuff. So that's it for this week. Tune in. I got more stuff to show. Everyone have a good one. Please like and subscribe.